in our previous talk we discussed that we understand gender when we use language with the help of different disciplines we try to explore how we use language and how during language use language is related with gender or gender is related with language and this time in this module you will see how proper pure linguistics involves in understanding relationship between language and gender in uh, one module uh, while talking about second person two second persons in some languages uh, we already talked about involvement of grammar in relating gender with language but this time you will see how the meaning of verb and word order tells us in a communicative situation what would be the role of participants who will be doing something who will receive the effect of that doing and in this way we will understand gender and language relationship now word order first of all is determined by the meaning of the word verb decides what will come before it and what will come after it this is word order and word meaning means its semantics for example we have verb hit now this verb demands two participants for completion of hitting the action it represents one who hits something and second that something which is to be hit for example ali reads books so here reads is action the meaning of the verb ali is agent ali is reader and book is patient it is something read so here we see that reading requires a reader and a book a reader will be in role of agent and book in role of patient patient means like medical patient one who suffers this is literal meaning but here there is no suffering it means the entity which receives the action of the verb another example to understand how verb meaning and word order determines role of participants in some action books are read by ali now in this sentence are read is action this whole form of the verb this is passive voice you already know such things it represents action ali agent and present in by ali now the agent is not in its position it moves to the position where it is part of by the preposition by and in that position it becomes optional optional means we can delete it from the sentence if we want in passive voice book it is the same it is patient or another term is used for patient that is team now see another example ali sold ahmed a shirt here sold is action it took place in past sold tells us the time ali is agent ali is seller ahmed is recipient or beneficiary ahmed doesn't receive the action he benefits from the result of the action 
now shirt it is shirt that that is sold so it receives the action of the verb that's why it is team or patient another example to understand it further the shirt sold now sold is action agent is hidden who sells this is not mentioned here the shirt it functions as subject and here you know every subject is not agent this is the difference between the two terms agent is a term that comes from semantics from meaning and subject is the term that comes from grammar it is grammatical role okay subject and agent are not the same actually we equate them because of interference of urdu grammar we learnt english grammar through urdu grammar in urdu we say every subject is file file means doer the agent but this is not applicable to english now ali is agent book is patient uh, in the first sentence and uh, in the second our red is action and uh, ali is agent but it becomes patient uh, sorry optional in third ali is agent shirt is team and there is an other entity that is ahmed ahmed is beneficiary so how many people how many entities would be involved and what would be their order and role this is determined by meaning of the verb similarly you saw in fourth example and fifth example see ali watched tv watched his action in past ali agent but not active ali is agent but not active means ali just watches no physical activity is involved in it tv that is tv there is a tendency in syntax books syntax books the books which deal with structure of sentences we call them syntax books that males are taken as agents see here gender is involved in role assignment by grammar syntax books assign the role of agent that is active and doer of something to males and females are taken as patients a subordinating role in literature english literature poetry fiction etc male characters and their activities dominate hero is often male like number of female characters sometimes is very few for example a you may be familiar with this short story the killers it is part of a course at b level in this short story there is a kind of short novel you can say with few characters within these few characters we have just two two females and they two are in a very subordinatory role very unimportant ordinary role what is that role they are owners of an apartment where the hero lives in newspaper headings it often happens that they hide male agents when news of violence or crimes are reported if the agent if the criminal the doer of the crime is a male his or her identity is hidden for example a girl found dead in her hostel bedroom okay now see who killed that girl that is not mentioned a possible reason may be why in stories and literature etc males are given this dominant role one reason is mentioned in the books 
that because girls like males as main characters because they dream uh, uh, their ideal person, ideal personality through these male characters. So we conclude language assigns roles to the participant of a situation and these roles are assigned by the meaning of the word.